or let's say you have a lot of files and you don't know their dimensions or you don't know a lot of things about those files anymore you can use the magic you can use the magic uh, operator to check a lot of things about those files so let's assume that we have some files okay or we're going to create those files so let's assume that we have we have files that have dimension of uh, money okay money let's say money in capital letter but this the, the files are so much and we are looking for a way to get all of them we can use this shell magic to work with such file so how do we begin first we create a file okay that is going to be our, our magic file so let's just call it money because we want to check for money so you say vim money and now i've created money file let's edit it so the first thing is we set the offsets offset zero then you use tab then what kind of what do you want to check for we want to be checking for the string anywhere you see a string string of what string money that is money in capital letter we want to check all our file anywhere you see a string that a file that mentions the string money then tell us this this is a money file okay enter then we now have to set the mime type and what will be the mime type we use a exclamation mark double colon mime then we can say test slash money interesting right you will see this in action very soon so now we can we are done with this so what we have done here is we set an offset of zero that is start from the beginning of the file check for any string that has the mention of money then this will be the description this is a money file and give it the mime type of test slash money so let's do this so i'm out let's clear as you can see we have the money file now but we have to turn it to a magic file so that it helps us do this um, our process automatically so how do we turn it to a magic file that is pretty straightforward we say file compile to a magic file and which what file are you compiling we are compiling the money file enter so let's see what has happened if we now have a new file so let's do clear then lx as you can see now we now have the money mgc file now we have the money mgc file so you may want to know how it works so let's make it work I'm going to create a file called money money bag. Let me use Vim so I just edit it immediately. Remember, in our file, we said we are looking for what? Any mention of capital letter money, uppercase. So I will say I love money so that it's going to catch this file. Because if it does not catch it, you won't see, you won't understand it. So I love money. So we are searching for, I love, we are looking for money in capital letter. I'm going to save this. I'm going to create another one called money bag. Money, or I will say money shoe. Money shoe. But this one I will just say, I love money so that you can see the difference so let's clear now how do we put it to work we can check the mime type of all the files in this directory by saying mime type so we want to use our money money magic file money dot money dot mgc file to check through all these files okay so magic and we'll use money dot mgc
Oh, sorry. Um, clear. So we need to add a flat, um, sorry, an asterisk so that it will check through all the files, okay? And there you have it. So the first one here is, it says inode money bag money shoe okay i want you to see the difference now if i go back to that file the money bag shoe and i move money to the beginning remember the offsets money is good let's run that command again can you see what has happened now it's now telling you now that that file is what test money remember what we did test money remember what we did inside of that this file called money this one MIME type test money. It has gone to check that file to check for money using the offsets. So it searched for capital letter money and when he found it, it started telling you now that file is a money file. Okay? Let me clear. Now, let's do something else. What if I say file forward slash M money MGC? I want you to just see how the magic magic file works can you see the description says this is a money file because it contains the mention of money in capital letters so, so guys i think we've been able to run this run through this properly and now you understand how the money.mgc file work and how you can create yours so thank you for being with me i'll see you in the next video cheers